Alright y'all, what's going on? Welcome back for another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. This always happens. <laughs> okay. Let's go over here and talk to Micah. See what kind of fucking trouble he's going to get us into now. I'm sure it's going to be fucking good. Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called... Hey Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The Adriscus. I mean... I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adrisco boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tight. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking. And they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Cole. I doubt that. Old have you lost your mind? Always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course it's He's gotta be right. probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. If it's a trap, you shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. We've gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Hmm. Just put this cow hide somewhere else real quick. <laughs> Probably gonna lose all those damn pelts I got on there too. Get to it then. Let's go then. Fast forward this shit. Caring too much. Mike is like a retarded problem. Alan Jackson. Caring too much. There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. It looks might like him. Might be full of shit. Como O'Driscoll Might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? Hell, is that I some kind of monologue? Try. <laughs> all I ask is you try. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. So you're gonna need a rifle. That 
boy. Look that buzzard was eating a damn buzzard. Mark is fat. Hello, Dutch. Should just take the shot right while. now. <clears throat> just in sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off? He's an ugly motherfucker. Which one? <laughs> Oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? I fucking knew it. Damn. Kill every fucking one of them. I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Column's right, we can draw them all back. Is this flash? Flash. I got him. Did I kill you? Fucking ya? shot. Oh, not yet. <laughs> uh, no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Oh god damn. Motherfucker just put one in my fucking chest. Looks like I'm on the back of a horse. Somehow still alive. Is he holding me like some kind of... He wants the butt. That's what he wants. He wants the D. Finally! Put his weapons over there! Still alive. <laughs> Fuck this motherfucker. Fuck everything he likes and knows. Fuck his life. Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. You too, uh, fucking. Hello, Gong. God, this place <laughs> fucking Smeagol. How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Say nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, why are you still running around? With old Dutch. Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Uh, uh, six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you lie, my friend. Then I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole. And then all this. Crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They 
forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We learn an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. Fucking doubt that. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> Fucking hate you. I don't remember having red long johns on them. <laughs> they got naked. I pulled all my clothes off, sucked my feet in, and put me in some red long johns. That's the O'Driscoll's for you. Gay. First try, hell yeah. Mm. That had to hurt like some bitch. You gotta heat up the foul. Take the bullet out. some gunpowder on it. Yep. Then light it on fire and carterize the wound. Stop the bleeding. I don't know if I would have put that wax in it. I don't want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? Damn, that took long enough. Fuck you. Three throwing knives. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here with a lot. Morgan's out! Ah! Fuck. Press up loud! Ah! I'm gonna throw a window ah! in your skull! Let's try this again. Except this time we'll be sneaky. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. 
I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Morgan's out! Fuck, what the hell? Aim must be off. They didn't hear me that time. Still get that jewelry bag. Nice and quiet light. Here we go. Yeah, rifle cartridges. Express. Large jewelry bag. Take it. Alright, nothing else is in there. Let's see, where's this throwing those at? There they are. Kill this fucker right here. God damn it! <laughs> Alright, horse. Oh yeah. Hey, they didn't take my pills. Nice. Alright, return to Clemens Mall. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'll pass the fuck out. You should see him, boo. He's just... <laughs> oh, that's a cool-ass shot. Wish it wasn't blurry as fuck. <laughs> Fucking Micah, this is all him, Preston's fault. Pierce Lee, Preston, whoever the fuck's fat, fat Lars name is. All their goddamn fault. Arthur! Arthur? Arthur! I told you it was a setup, Dutch. My boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. Well, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. At least I had Every the right idea. Gonna set the law on on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is Here's a bit late brown for pants. apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. Oh, I got you. You're safe now. Oh, that's pretty intense. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. That's fucking badass. No coyote. That's cool. A few weeks later. Uh, 
I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Here's kind of scraggly. Alright, now who the fuck wants me? Mr. Morgan! I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. You know who. Maybe one day you'll save mine. Oh, my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. What is it? Thank you, but... You were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never oh, forget was. my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. You busy, Arthur? At the moment, I am. Where's horse? Come here, sissy. Let's go, bro. Let's go do a mission. Fucking clean Fucking rednecks. Let's see, you yeah, inbred bastards. I bet we'll blow some of your fucking dicks off. Yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Our numbers are waning. Thanks to the food. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you think you're gonna get away, partner? I beg to fucking differ. Ghost trying to creep up on us. Two down, oh. Get out there. <laughs> you done went and fucked up there, buddy. Yeah, here in the woods a little ways. See, you messed up when you joined, okay? You messed up when you went to town and you bought this nice bed sheet to cut up. You just messed up. I don't know what else to tell you. Let's go! Alright. What do we do with you first? Let's put your torch out. You just won't let go of that torch, really. Enemies were laid to come. Oh, hey, keep firing. Fucking motherfuckers. I'll kill all you bastards. 
What the hell just happened? Good morning, Arthur. been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. Yeah, What's the plan? Go. We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these Grey Boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... Holy fuck. They shot her right shot in right the fucking head. Holy shit. Alright, it's going down. Look at me shoot dude's hat off and fucking cap stuff. Hey, fucking kill the shot. 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 Hey, fucking You see a way out of here? All right now. I got us pinned good. You're a Those cowards running away. Hey, looks 
fact, most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. There's Come on. Over here. I don't know Sheriff why it's Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. There it is up there. Oh. Is that mine? Looks like mine. What the hell's it doing over here? Bolt action. Long arm, shoulder, bolt action. Huh. This is the Grays town. Always has been, always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out. Yeah. Oh, Bill. Guns on the ground now. Both of you, don't do it. You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff. I'll blow his brains out! Shit! Fucking asshole. Fucking Sean. Got his goddamn fucking brain clipped. He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't oh, really? work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty. But you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Very improper someplace, quiet. Maka, best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Guess I can use guns in roads now. <laughs> Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold. But a shitload of trouble. Come here, mule. Yeah. We will find the boy. Sounds like Jack's running off. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think. The Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill them! Rest of you, let's ride! This is get dark real quick. Okay, let's go get that boy back! Damn, the whole fucking crew's going after him. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. 
How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. But if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Shoot the holy fuck out of this place. First song, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! Don, I need you to stay calm. Music's badass. Get down right here now! You inbred trash! Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... on his fucking gun. Are they at? I just 
stairs. Oof. Oh shit, he caught on fire. It's awesome. in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except fighting Where Yankees. is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about them? <laughs> now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? Nope. Reckon they're all dead. <laughs> That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. With pleasure. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dex. <laughs> You got that one, uh, I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> 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 I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. Who the fuck's so my guess is Saint-Denis. Either there 
are on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> She is running that fucking house and it's totally fucking engulfed in flames. What a dumbass. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course Marston scared rotten. I mean, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets True. you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it would be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. Boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. 
Rest of you get packing. Hey, yeah, looks like we're moving. Come on, again. John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot off them. Follow me. I know the way. Finally, I get to fucking lead it. We ain't gotta go fucking slow as shit. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We make too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Mosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. You can't put all this on, Dutch. But you worked up, and rightly so. Hey! So, all right. We'll be just down this path to the left here. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. Well, we chose this Mississippi life. Mississippi mud, and now we're heading to Louisiana. I, don't know. I think this life chose that way us. We can all get ate up by a bunch of fucking gators. That's it up ahead. Yeah, I figured this Four was the damn place. The roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Oh, shit! It's... What the fuck? Boys! Damn it! There's still some here. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? Come on. Tough guy, eh? Ah! I wonder if there's anything in here. Yeah. 
Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right, see you soon. No. And I am Moses for the cage. They live by himself in his farm. Hundred alligator for a living. You can stop him in the head with a stick. Louisiana law wanna get your pants. It ain't legal, hundred alligator down in the bayou. Five miles to south, the tip of those is the end. Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. That's Sean's last. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on. And she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Certainly, Bronte. of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with there him. Is. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed the paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. <laughs> Pretty much. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes.
let's go to Bourbon Street. And I'll see y'all on the other end of the trail. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, the bell, and leave a comment. We'll catch you later.